Hi everybody, Alicia here. I'm going to show you something that I've noticed Facebook is pushing us more and more to do at the moment. And it's within the business manager itself. And it's called setting up a line of business. So a line of business is basically like a group where we can house our page, it's all our assets, our page, ad account, pixels, uh, e-commerce, all these things that we need to have as assets uh, within our business manager to advertise correctly. Now, the reason why I am uh, realizing that this is becoming more and more important is because I was just setting up an ad in an ad account and I'll see if we can quickly bring up this, um, a screenshot I took and, oh, there it is. And it was basically saying, um, I don't know if you can, you may not be able to see that, but basically when I created the ad and it told me, let me see if I can bring it up. Um, share this okay so what it told me is like when you create an ad at the bottom of the ad it will ask you to select pixel in that pixel it um says like select pixel and there's a pixel that you have usually associated with your ad account but what i noticed is it's actually telling us to select a domain track event data sets that contain the conversions your ad might motivate. Data set must contain the conversions selected for your ad account. And this is for website events, so select a domain. So you need to be able to um, associate your event pixel and your ad account together. So they're trying to make us even more and more connected. And this is also to do with the iOS 14 updates that are coming out. Okay, so you may not see this yet within your um, ad account yet. I've just seen it in one of my ad accounts. And normally here where it says website events, you actually just select a pixel and you go from there. So what I've noticed how this has come about and how you actually select this domain is that you need to set up a line of business. So let me go back. Okay, so how to select a line of business. All right, so I, I might just quickly recap on something just so that is really clear. Say you were creating a new ad, just so we're really super clear. So you're creating the ad. Down here where you've got tracking, tracking. Okay, so this is where you'd normally select your pixel. But now what it's asking is to select the website that's associated with the pixel. Okay, just so that's really clear. Close. Right, so how do we set up a line of business? Okay, let's get in there. I'm going to select what, this particular account because I don't have one yet. All right, so in business settings, you can have this line of business here. Now what I noticed, like these guys don't have anything yet, but what I noticed after I actually activated this part, I also got this attribution come up. Now this didn't show before, but then suddenly it appeared. So you can go that way also because this is what it's got to do with the attribution of your ads and everything that's happening moving forward with the iOS update. So Facebook attribution makes it easy to measure the effectiveness of your ads across publishers, device and channels. These are just a few to get started, okay? So basically the line of business is grouping your ad accounts, pixels, apps and offline events, okay? Wait for the data to be received. So we can go in this way and we can select the option. That I haven't done it this way yet, but we can select this. Okay, just had to set a couple of things up as this is a brand new account. 
So single line of business, when we're setting up a line of business, so if we go next, and I had to set up an ad account because this business was using something else. So ad account, next, data sources. So we collect the pixel and next people, this is me, next, time zones or correct, next, coastal flow, confirm. Okay, so that's how we set up a line of business. And what this will allow us to do is um, pretty much just put together and group together everything that this particular business does, like their page, their pixel, as you can see, their ad account. And what you'll find is, I'm pretty sure I should be able to give another example here. What it does, it actually kind of gives you this whole overview. So if I come into, um, how to uh, get the domain verified okay so what you do is you go to brand in your business settings go to brand safety go to domains and I need to add a domain in here so I've got coastal flow add domain you don't put in all these www start HTTP all the back don't think you even put www, you do. Okay, so once you've done that, you uh, can either use a DNS verification, HTML file upload or meta tag verification. What I've been doing is the meta tag verification. Okay, so log into your website. This is for WordPress only. I don't know how to do it on any other ones. I'm sorry. And Right, so go to plugins, install plugins, and we need to add a new plugin, add new, search for Meta Tag Manager. This one, install. I copy this. And I just use OneNote and I'll just paste it out there on my OneNote for a second. And then we go to, it's in settings, meta tag manager, add meta tag. Tag type is name. The value is, is just copy it from that piece of, code that I just copied, paste, and then content is the big long number that you actually have in it. Right, so add the big long ID. <coughs> so just to recap, you copy this. So all I did was like copy, I just put it onto a notepad and copied Facebook domain verification. And then I copied this big long number without the inverted commas into this. It's a name there and there. You want it on, um, it tells you, we want it on, head section of the website's homepage. So go back to here. We don't want that. We want front page and then go save. Okay, and then that's it. And then you should be able to come back here and go verify. And once you click verify, it will come up with, it's verified, okay? So it's that easy to do, it's not rocket science and you'll get a little green dot up here. Okay, once it's verified also. And there we go. Okay, so that's how we can easily verify our um, domain access. All right. Okay guys, hopefully that's a little bit helpful. Go and set up your lines of business. And I'll just, Go set up your lines of business, get them sorted. To me, it looks like it's coming through the system. So get, get ahead of the game. 
get it all set up, be organized, um, and also get that domain verified. And look, if you need any help, I do offer business manager setup. So if you do need any help, just reach out and we can have a talk about what we can do there. All right, see you later.